Hey, what's up? Vinny Malkus here. I'm going to give you a one bass US Open recap here. Which, if you saw those standings, I didn't do very well. It was really horrid, actually. But, uh, you know, I'm not upset. I'm not upset at all. Let me tell you why. Because you don't go to the US Open to place whatever 40th and collect a couple grand check, right? Like I said, I was confident. I was really confident going in to the US Open. I was really uh, super confident after my practice, right? And you wanna know why? It's because I went there to win, right? So I was sitting there, I got to see that trophy on the day that we were uh, uh, doing the check-in and they do a sponsor's row, which was all pretty awesome. It was at a Finley Toyota there in Vegas. <clears throat> um, but I knew going in there and I knew once I saw that trophy too, I was like, you know what? I could go and do what I did, you know, somewhat last year and then kind of play around and with some small mouth or whatever probably cut a check right but you don't go to the u.s open for points or check i didn't fish the clear lake open so i couldn't do i guess i have an angler of the year thing couldn't do that right so i knew on day one i was like i'm going over there i am going to power fish the heck out of this lake and i did that so i don't have any qualms dude i i almost finished dead last but it's like the one time this year that I've done bad where I didn't have the opportunities. Like you take like a pick where, where I lost a couple of really giants. You take like uh, this last grand where I broke off, uh, you know, some good fish and just, you know, just had some interesting stuff. You take a you follow where I just totally blew it one day, then it made a comeback. You take the same thing at uh, Wright Patton where I'm losing fish. This whole year has been plagued with weird things that have happened to me, right? Bad luck, trailer issues. I mean, every event's had something, you know, this one. Yeah. There I had I broke part of my trolling motor on, but that one was my fault. It wasn't Lawrence. All right. Um, maybe their stabilizer arms a little weak. I'll give them that, that stabilizer arm is pissing me off. But the other part of it that I broke, that was my fault. Cause the way the ramp is there is horrid. Uh, and I didn't know that. And I was coming off the water and I wasn't paying, I wasn't paying attention. That was my own fault. But, uh, besides that I went out there and I did what I thought would win that tournament. And it turns out a guy that, I mean, he taught me how to uh, sight fish when I was a kid. I was on, I got fortunate enough to fish with him. Roy Hawk, he won it. And he, it was actually on that lake. And I, um, when, I, when I was like 16 or whatever, I got to fish with him. And he actually showed me showed me some really cool sight fishing techniques and really taught me how to do it. He's a super nice guy, but uh, glad that he won it. And he was power fishing, but I knew how to do it, right? I knew what I was doing, and uh, I knew what, I knew what the prize was, right? You don't go there for second place. So I did what I thought would be the way to win. I wasn't going to do what everybody else was doing. And I, you know, like I said, I could have done that. I'm really good at that finesse stuff, the drop shotting. That's kind of one of my strengths. And uh, instead, I put that up. I chucked and winded and chucked and winded, even flipped. On the first day, I lost a really good uh, or a decent fish. For me, it was a more of an upper class fish flipping. So I guess I did lose one, one decent fish. But I wasn't, a, you know, it was weird because the way he was, bought, he bit it, and I, I flipped this, uh, you know, I had my punching rod and I flipped into this thing of wood, and I was pulling it up. I was, I mean, you know, I'm trying to crawl it over the wood, and as I'm crawling over the wood, I feel like I'm in like a, I don't know. It's just like not even sp spongy. It wasn't, it didn't, it feels like you just got like a little something on the line, right? Didn't, I pull it up and I, and this fish had just mouthed it. And he was probably a two and a half, almost maybe a three pounder. I don't know. He's a good fish. And then besides that, um, didn't really have an opportunity, but I just know that I went to an area where I know there's normally big fish. It's been one back there before and it's been, one fishing a certain way and there's bait fish back there more bait fish than i've seen in meat in a long time like i said power fished it thinking it would happen the conditions set up perfectly for that and uh and in fact in the morning i got like a kind of a false signal because i went back to the, the one of the spot i went to the spots and the first thing in the morning catch a one and a half pounder and then have a couple other little bites hit these other areas you get like a little bite here and there. It's like, I kept telling my co-angler, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. There's enough chop. There's a little chop on the water. Yeah, I know it's post-frontal, but a little chop on the water. The bait is moving. We should, we're going to knock him. 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 I kept reminding him because he's getting down and then he, he caught one. And it was like just barely burning. Not, it just didn't happen. But you got to stay in that game. So I stayed in the game. 
mind wise. Yeah, I could have made, you know, some other decision winging it. And I knew that I knew that I could have just picked up and ran somewhere else and caught some, you know, small mouths and, uh, and salvaged the day, which maybe I should have done that. But you know what? I knew that, Hey, I needed to get those big, large mouth. I needed to, and it just didn't happen. I had confidence all the way to the last part of the day. And to, oh, actually, I take that back to the last 30 minutes because then we stopped that in uh, another spot right outside of Calville. First cast, bam, had a, a keeper, small mouth, and lost them. So it happens. Second day, I go and I'm like, I'm going to do the same thing. They got to turn on. There's no sense in me running around and going to get eight pounds. And yeah, that's cool. My co, the co angler I had, he was out of it too. So it's not even that big a deal. If he was in it, I probably would have gone and done that for his sake. Um, <clears throat> but he was out of it. So I was like, we're going to go, we're going to try to get a big fish. We're going to try to put down a mega bag if we can. And this is the place I told him this is a zero or hero spot. So we ran over there and did it again. And this time I didn't even get a chance at one. So then we ran to uh, not that same area I lost uh, right outside of Calville. Sure is crap. Lose two keeper smallmouth, And they, it was just there biting weird. I, I don't know that I guess they wouldn't have changed anything, right? So it was not a big deal to me. I didn't even, I was like, oh, I could see them. And uh, they just popped off on a, on a drop shot, two of them. Um, then we ran to this other area. On the way there, there was a guy broke down. We towed him from the Narrows to Cal Calville, so that burned some time. Run back in there, and man, had a nice, you know, three-something pound largemouth chase my partner's uh, A-Rig. I had a big smallmouth blow up, roll over my, uh, my Sammy. So I was throwing my uh, my little Sammy and then he missed it. And then another one comes and grabs it. And of course he's not a keeper. So then we roll around. We can see some keepers in there. So we stay in there a little bit. Then the stripers roll up and start uh, feeding. We thought maybe that would turn them on, stay there. But then by the time it was just too late, it was just too late. So we run back in and it just didn't happen. But like I said, no regrets, no regrets on that. If it was like an MPFL tournament or a Toyota series or points were online, I would have gone and I'd have done things a lot differently. So when you, if you see my name on there and it's like dead, almost dead last, not a big deal, man. Like I went, I, sh I shot for the moon. I went and power fished. I knew that I was, I just need five bites, right? So you do, I mean, you swing for the fences, man. So if you're going to try to hit home runs, sometimes you're going to strike out. I struck out this tournament, but I don't even feel bad about it because I did, you know why? It's because I, I did what I, I know can win the tournament. And I did, I was in the areas where there are big fish. There are big fish around there. A lot of grass. There's a lot of big, there's a lot of big largemouth. I've been there. I've caught them. It's been one there. Uh, I, they said that Roy Hawk was back in there and that's where he got this, his good bag on the second day. You know, I didn't really see him back there where I was at, but he could have been back there. And, he, and if he did, awesome. He figured him out more than I did. And he was th probably throwing a jig or something. I was throwing a little bit more moving stuff because I was trying to trigger him. But uh, like I said, I don't feel bad at all. I did what I needed to do to put myself in a position to win um, without like going and finessing around and trying to get a limit that way and playing the crowd business or, you know, playing the ounces business. I wanted to go in there and, and when, and you know what, the other, the guy that won it last year, he was down there with me, like in the standings, because you go there to change your life. The U.S. Open is about changing your life. It's not about placing that top 20 or whatever which I did need the money, right? But it's not about that. It's about going there. And when you see that trophy and when you see that boat and you know that your name's, you're going to be one of the, whatever, they got 39 guys of, or 39 uh, of those trophies because it's been there 39 times. And then some guys have won it you know, multiple times. Roy, this is the second time, but uh, you want the trophy, man. You want that trophy. Like, I don't want second place. I don't want third place. I mean, I, yeah, the money would be nice. I want the trophy I, and the money there would change your life. So you go there, you swing for the fences and sometimes you're going to strike out. And uh, maybe one of these times you're going to hit the home, the grand slam or the home run. You're going to do it uh, fishing the way I did. But if you go there and you're just constantly finessing, yeah, you might be in the mix like around that area, but your, your asshole or sorry, your butt is going to be puckered for, for those three days or uh or two days in this case uh and i just thought yeah if you go there for a check you fish that way if you go to the win you fish another way and that's the way i did it and you know what i'm kind of proud of myself because normally i would have given up on that which yeah in a tour level event with points on the line you i should have given up on that and i should have gone and scrounged out my limits every day
doing the smallmouth thing. And you catch a large mouth too doing that too. But I didn't. This is one where I knew that I needed to win. So I put myself in that in that position in the areas that I know could win, fishing the stuff that I know could win it. And it just didn't pan out. It happens that way sometimes. This is fishing. It's nothing, you know, super special. But uh sometimes you gotta take a gamble. And uh with big risk come big reward, but also with big risk come failure. And you can't be afraid to fail um if you're gonna be successful. So anyway. I appreciate following, like, subscribe. We got, I got some news that's going to come through here soon um, that I'll, I'll pass on uh, eventually. We're going to be doing some stuff around here to, you know, make a little money. Um, but uh, I appreciate it. I'll talk to you later until the next tournament. TMP Fell starts in March. Uh, look them up because they're going to have their championship in November as well. Um, anyway, peace.